Well, I want to thank some Mars. This one is funny. You're going to enjoy this. Now they're saying that global warming wiped out the Martians. Well, they say admitting that there were Martians. <laughs> oh my god. Global warming that scorched the surface of Mars for up to 10 million years may have wiped out life on the red planet and it is claimed. It's thought that Mars froze over roughly 3.8 billion years ago before global, global warming periods melted the surface and created deep valleys and canyons. Huh? Scientists believe this could be why the planet has water-carved features. <laughs> water provides conditions needed for life, so they could have been living organisms on Mars billions of years ago. Uh, why don't you try now? I've seen them. However, if there was life on Mars, it could have been wiped out by climate change. So now the United, you see, the United States is being blamed for global warming on this planet, which is baller gas. But at any rate, so by default, they're blaming the United States for this. And they can't, re they can't really, but uh, <laughs> whatever. They haven't said this, how this happened. A, a buildup of greenhouse gases on Mars' dense atmosphere is thought to have sparked dramatic climate changes. Some studies have suggested that the warming of Mars was brought on by asteroid impacts, <laughs> but now many researchers believe warming cycles are responsible. Natasha Patella, a graduate student of astronomy and astrophysics, Penn State said, with a cycling hypothesis, you get these long periods of warmth that you that give you sufficient time to form all the different Martian valley networks. The valleys of Mars are similar in width to the Grand Canyon, which is thought to have been carved out 16 million years ago when the Colorado River swelled after melting. This type of climate model demonstrates how warming periods caused by greenhouse gases persisted for millions of years, researchers claim. John Casting, a professor of geosciences at Penn State, said, we think Mars had to be warm for millions to tens of millions of years an impact hypothesis could keep it warm for thousands of years. Now, excuse me, but they're saying that an asteroid impact here on Earth would cool everything off, and they're saying that an asteroid impact there would warm everything up. Which is it? <laughs> In terms of water, we need millions of meters of rainfall, and they, the previous studies can get hundreds of meters. But Mattel uh, said Mars is in the precarious position where it's at the outer edge of the habitable zone. It's receiving less solar flux, so you can start at a glaciated state. Uh, it's called sunlight, you idiot. There's volcanic outgassing, but because you are colder, you don't get the same deposition of carbon back into the planet's atmosphere, planet's surface. Instead, you get the atmospheric buildup, and your planet slowly starts to rise in temperature. Researchers are still trying to work out if Mars could have produced enough carbon dioxide and hydrogen for this process to work. Well, the United States wasn't there in the months, so how could it? Hastings said, well, we would be, we would be well off if 
Early Mars had plate tectonics just like the Earth has today. Then it works. But that's a big debate. A lot of people don't think Mars ever had it. <laughs> the lunatics are running the asylum. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. What can you say for something like this? These people... Unbelievable. I had... <laughs> All I can do is laugh at them. Oh, my God. You look at the Mars from above videos I've done. I've shown plenty of life on that planet. At least plant life. The <laughs> These people are out of their minds. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. I in this video because all I can do is laugh. I'm out of some Thanks for watching. <laughs>